Hey guys, Daniel here. Welcome back to Mortal Dance Garage. Out doing a wee job on the GS today, and I've got a sat nav mount that I want to fit onto the bike. Now, to do this, so I will need to make a, a new mount for it because where I want it to go is right up in front of me. I want it to mount on here. Kind of like, um, I think it's the Mixel mount, but that's obviously very expensive. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a, a quick mount out of some alloy. And now I generally would not drill holes in factory plastics, but there's already a hole here. Somebody must have fitted an aftermarket alarm system at some point. So I'm going to go in that hole there and I'm going to do an adjoining hole over there and just nut and bolt it. Um, and it will allow a minion plate that comes up and it will hold my sat nav mount on there. Uh, so the sat nav that I run on the bike is the Garmin Zumo. I think it's a 390, 396, something like that. It's about 10 year old if I don't know, but it works faultlessly. Um, so I'm just going to carry on using it. I bought a mount and another powered wire so I can have them both set up on the DR and the GS and just swap the sat nav between them. Uh, so like I said, I'm going to roughly copy the mig cell mount idea. And first I'm going to make a, a rough template out of cardboard and we're going to go from there. So the speedo cluster is roughly about 100mm in diameter, so I've got a, I found a lid of a paint in here that's about 100mm in diameter. So I'm going to draw around that and then we're going to uh, cut it out. I'm going to cut it out quite big to start with. Because then we can always trim it down a wee bit. Something like this. So we'll hold this up to the bike and we'll uh, change the design. Obviously it needs to be trimmed right down. Right there. Around right about there I'd say. Bang in the middle. It's probably around right about the right height. I think that's probably clean enough to be honest. It's not perfect yet but um, we can finesse that with the alloy. Drill two holes here and here. Bend this probably around about there and then there. Something like that. So I've got a scrap piece of aluminium here. I've just drawn a line across here which is going to be our square mark. So I'm going to cut this angle bit off and if we can get it square then I can actually measure it out and make sure the whole thing is square. So I just need to mark it all out and cut it out. That's how it's looking there. So it's going to sit on there like that. It's going to be fairly vertical. I mean, I can always adjust that later. It's not going to hit anywhere. I just need to, I need to finesse this quite a bit, but uh, it's not bad actually. That'll do the job. Finesse it, drill some holes, and then uh, we'll get it mounted up. Right guys, we got our shape roughed out and the holes drilled. Now it's not perfect, but it's, it's pretty damn close. It's going to sit on there, something like that. Um, I just used the belt sander and the vise to kind of get it where I want it to be and it worked really well. Um, big hole layers for the wire to go through. It's looking pretty good. I'm going to try and get into here and see if we can draw some holes in here and take out this 
whatever this was, an old alarm. The screen is just four bolts and that comes off. They are a Torx bit stock. Pull it out to the sides and then lift it up. Now up top here looks like we've got a couple of Allen key bits, 3 mil Allen keys, but I'm not sure if they're stock or not. Headlight guard. Oh, it does just pop off. I would imagine there would have been four bolts from it factory, but with my headlight guard I must replace a couple of them. We can see this. This must have been an alarm of some kind. So that leaves an 8mm hole in the front there, so if I draw one on the other side in the same place, and then we can mount up the sun nav mode. If I can hold this up here now, and then mark the rear with a pen. So I've got two marks there, we'll draw these out. Right guys, that's it mounted up there. Um, I don't have any M8 nuts in the garage, so I will need to uh, get some of them that I can actually tighten up, but that's what it's going to look like right there. Right guys, so we're in the process of wiring up the sat-nav. Now I bought an extra wiring kit as well, and it comes with just uh, straight wires there and a fuse. So I don't need the fuse because I've already got that Eastern Beaver unit there. Um, so we're going to cut it around about here, and I like SE plugs, so that's generally what I use on all my bike things. Um, they give a good connection, they're waterproof. Right, so the vehicle side of the wire, and we want the, the hot wire to be shielded. So this is the, the side we want to use on the vehicle side. And then on the sat-nav side, we can use the opposite side to this. So the hot wire, the red one, is, um, is open. And that way, if we ever unplug it, this can hang and there's no danger of it touching anything and uh, shorting out. The side here, we'll just snip it just past the fuse. Now we'll keep this because that fuse will be handy and we'll actually use that. It's a 2 amp fuse so we'll use that in the Eastern Beaver unit. And we can open this up and we'll just solder on the SE plug onto it. You want to slide over your heat shrink and then just twist your wires together. Do the same to the other one. Slide our heat shrink up and then just... That's good to go on the bike and we'll do the same on the bike with the other SE plug. Right guys, we come back over to the bike. Um, you've got this big brick here. Now I need to try and hide this somewhere, so I'm going to try and hide this in <coughs> behind this front cowling here. Now this basically just converts your uh, DC to DC voltage, so 12 volts DC from the bike to 5 volts for the charging the sat nav. Um, so there's a nice wee spot actually just down here that I should be able to tuck it down. So if we poke the SE connector down and I'll slide this down here. I should be able to just sit that in like that and put a couple of cable ties on it. So that's now cable tied in there, out the way. And it's solid, it's not going to move, it's not interfering with anything. I'll leave this bundled up here until we get the actual mount on and then I can just have it sticking out what I need. If we come down into the headstock area here, this is where I've got my bundle of accessory wiring. Um, now what I just did there is um, I just tested with a multimeter on resistance from here down to the bottom so I know which power line's which. Uh, this is the one I want to go in here which is the top fuse on the fuse panel. Um, so we'll go into this power and earth here and we'll cut this down and solder on the other side of the SE plug. And that is one sat nav wired up. The beauty of the Eastern Beaver unit or any sort of fuse panel like that is it just makes 
it's so much easier to wire up accessories. Um, all I'm going to do is just cable tie that onto there. I'll probably put a wee bit of uh, tape around that to be honest. And then uh, cable tie all this crap back up again and then we're uh, good to go. So that's how it looks there. I think it looks pretty factory to be honest. Uh, put a bit of foam tape around the plug and then cable tied it onto the loom. I taped up and cable tied the rest of the accessory loom up there for the moment. Just got to pop my fuse in the power center and then that is the wiring done for the sat nav. Super simple to do. So I'm just using the two amp fuse that it came with and the sat nav is going in the top circuit. There we go. If I come back up to the front of the bike, this is where I am mounting it, as you know. Um, I did actually get some nuts and I tried to put them in the back there and there's not enough room in the back to fit a 8mm nut, so a 13mm head. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm, I bought a rev nut set. So I bought this uh, rev nut set on trade and it was like 30 bucks for the full set. And I'm going to stick a, an M6 rev nut in there. Um, the basically a rev nut is basically just a pop rivet but with a uh, thread on it. Um, and how it works is you just screw this onto your tool, you get all the different sizes. And when you squeeze it, it compresses up the uh, serrated part there. So I'm going to use an M6 um, nut set in there. And for that I need a 9mm hole. So I need to redraw out those holes just a little bit bigger. There's currently 8mm. So just push them all the way home and then squeeze them down. So we've got two threads there. I did only go with M6 because uh, M8 would require like a 13 mil hole and it would be way too big for that. There we go. That looks perfect and that's solid has. Um, quite like those rivnet, rev nuts, they do the job well and yeah, it's easier than trying to get a nut in there if they only need to take it off. Um, right, so I actually need to get a bigger drill bit for the, the wire to go through here. And um, once we get that, we can give it a quick paint and then she's done. That's a close up of those rev nuts. It looks pretty good, I reckon. And you don't even see them when it's bolted up, but it. Right guys, so we uh, drilled out the little hole there for the wire and we get it a quick paint of flat black so we can now mount it up to the bike. Pull this wire and limb through here. That sits through the bracket and then there's a little screw that goes in the back to secure it. And you've got this little cover that comes through for a uh, Keep it weather protected when you're not using it. With all the nuts and bolts that you need. This front panel here, I just made, need to make a little cutout for the wiring to sit into, just along this edge here, just so the wiring can go through to it. Alright guys, that's uh, SatNav mounted on the GS and um, we'll head out on the bike and see what it looks like. That Eastern Beaver unit just made the whole thing just super simple and I think the aluminium bracket looks pretty good. Like I said, I don't normally like cutting original plastics but there was already a hole there and it's cost me nothing. Well, it's cost me the mount and the, the wiring. Um, can't go wrong with that. Alright guys, so how's that uh, GPS unit holding up, up there? It's actually pretty good. Um, I did have to make a slight modification to it, and that was to um, uh, brace it back onto the, the front cowling area there, because it was jumping around too much. Uh, so I've done that now, and it's uh, now solid. It's exactly where I want it to be. Um, it's powered by ignition feed. 
it's uh, perfect. Like I said, I normally do not like uh, drilling into factory plastics. Um, I would have bought the MIGSEL unit if I didn't already have a hole there, but uh, there was a hole there from possibly an immobilizer system or something like that. So since there's already a hole there, I decided just to drill a couple more holes and uh, it's worked out well. Hasn't cost me anything. Uh, I had that aluminium just lying around, so oh, I had to buy the paint, sorry, so 20 bucks on paint, but I'll use that on other projects. Um, this is where I kind of like my satin have to be, just up right in front of your uh, your face, so you don't have to um, don't have to tilt your head to look at it. You could just literally move your eyes. It's uh, ideal. Just give it a quick glance. Much better than being on the handlebars or further down. So if you like this install, mind give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and I will uh, catch you guys all next time. See you later.